Hey everyone, here's the update on what we've been doing with the KuCoin crypto lending program. Now, as you know, back in September, with some updates in December, we've been working the KuCoin crypto lending platform. And if you look at my original video, bam, going for 60% returns, crushing it with US Tether, doing fantastic. Now, for anyone who's been following any crypto lending, including KuCoin crypto lending, those rates do not stick. And with today's quick video, we're going to show you the brutal truth of what's been going on with tying up my money. And we have made some return. Let's show it to you. But there's also a net loss, and I'm going to relay that to you. And look, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Check out the free Discord, or go ahead and consider joining the patron today. Let's get on with this real quick. And I want to share my screen and show you what cryptos I've been lending this entire time, what's gone really good, what's gone not so great, and then what's going forward next with this experiment. So first thing I want to show you, this is what we have in this KuCoin account. We've got Cardano, we've got Dowmaker, Tether, Ethereum, uh, USDC, which I'm starting to like more and more, XRP for Ripple. So that's what we got the lending. I want to actually show this to you here. We were even teasing with the XTZ with Tezos, and I want to revisit that actually. And we'll talk another day about which of the cryptos have a better lending rate. We can talk about that in a second. But let's just review some of these. We started with Dow Maker, and that was the one that we were leaning into in a heavy way. And I was making easily 60%. Now, is 60% still possible? Well, let's take a look. If we scroll all the way down, some of these people are actually filling orders at 73% a year with 12,000 Dow. Who are these people? I don't know because here's what's actually going on. I've had this open order since December 22nd. Now, if we actually look at my order history, I haven't had a settled order since December 6th. My auto lending's been enabled the whole time. I set my minimum day rate, and I know what a lot of the haters are going to say. Grant, your day rate is way too high compared to some of the low end. You're absolutely right, but it shouldn't be too far down the line. We can see that I even reduced my day rate to chase the market, and I would have just put up with 14% returns. My day rate has actually been reduced. I wasn't even chasing. Back on the 6th, when I was seeing that my order was not being filled, I went ahead and reduced my day rate again in December, chasing the market a little bit, and I still have not been filled. Now, did I miss the interest rate? I can't have missed the interest rate because the priority interest rate, this is basically others having their orders filled at the priority interest rate, except there's all these other orders being filled at much higher than my particular rate. Let's look at another one, ADA lending. I had a bunch of this staked with Max. For those of you who don't know, Max is fantastic. Follow and subscribe to his channel. He's a fantastic guy. I had a ton of my crypto. I had probably three times this in Max's staking pool, making 5% a year. That's fantastic. And they were pulling it and I was actually earning that. But I decided to get a little greedy and say, I could make more. So again, I have not had a settled order at all with my ADA lending on the KuCoin marketplace. Now that could be that there's no one looking for ADA on the KuCoin platform, but I had a single order settle, one order settle as of October. I've had this open order again since December 22nd. No one's taken it, but there's been other people buying. So this is really suspicious. And my rate right here, 0.2, is in line with the absolute lowest interest rate, the floor. And I've set this interest rate as far back as the 22nd. So nothing's going on there. The volume is there. My interest rate is set at ridiculously low rates. At this point, my money is stupid money. And what am I actually earning? At 7.3% for 7 or 14 or 28 days, even if I got filled right now, it wouldn't make up for the downtime. I've had with this money. That money could have been staked in Max's pool, for example, and making more money. I'm sure the haters and the commenters are going to come out and say, there's plenty of other places that money could have been. Absolutely. US Tether. This was my bread and butter. This one was absolutely murdering it for me. And you can tell by my order history here, I was getting filled left and right. This one has performed a little bit, actually. I had an order settle on the second. But if you actually calculate my down days, am I actually earning the 10.5% a year? Not if you calculate how many days this money isn't working for me. This annualized rate only works if you are staked or the money is being lent every day of the year. It's got a compound in me working every day of the year. So again, I've got auto lend on. I'm way at the bottom of the market right there at 0.029%. And I'm still not getting filled. 
Now, it's currently the 19th. This means I've had an open order since the second. This means I have 17 days, half the month, my orders are not being filled, which means let's just say I am being filled half the month. Let's say my orders are being filled. That means actual annualized rate is only 5%. This money is easily spent elsewhere. USDC. Um, my USDC coin, I think, has been performing a little bit. On the 6th, I was filled last. I was settled last on the 7th, but I've still been down for 12 days. My interest rate is 0.02. It might be a little high compared to some of my peers, but if you scroll down, how many people have had their orders filled at a much higher rate since then? This just absolutely boggles the mind as to why my order wouldn't be in the bucket as well. Ethereum. In general, Ethereum's been working for me. My rate is not great. My rate is only about 6%, but it must be with Ethereum that the volume is much higher. I've had an open order though since the 14th, so that's dead money. That's money not working for me. And could I be doing other things? I don't know. Could I be earning more ETH elsewhere? We'll see. We're getting ETH growth. Maybe I'll add to it now that ETH is down. I'm going to dollar cost average ETH a little bit anyway. And it looks like I am being filled a little bit. So maybe what we're finding is that this is actually a volume issue. And then let's look at XRP. Now, XRP, I've done something today with this that might be a little different. My last daily interest rate was set to 0.2 in XRP, and that was at the low end at the time. XRP's lending rate has now gone in the toilet and 0.2% is now at the max, 73%. I'm asking for a little much. So I actually set my minimum day rate to nothing. I think it was actually to 0.001. Now my money has now been working for me at 0.003, but where does that actually leave me? That means I'm actually only earning 1% a year. Now with XRP, is that good? Should I be grateful for anything? Maybe XRP is gonna boon again after the SEC case. I have no idea, but I am fairly confident that at Yearn or even converting my, some of these duds that have no volume, converting them to something on Yearn or Anchor Protocol or heck, DeFi Kingdoms. I was looking at DeFi Kingdoms and I'm going to do a whole video on DeFi Kingdoms because I'm sure you're already aware, but I just really started researching DeFi Kingdoms and I was very impressed with what I saw. But I could easily convert these duds to any other currency and be easily making 10, 15, 20%. Now, I like my XRP. I don't want to sell it. I want to hold it because my dollar cost average on XRP is below 20 cents and I love it. I've been holding it for years and I really believe that after the SEC case, we're going to see another bump. So I'm in the green, so I don't want to liquidate my XRP. So I'm kind of a catch-22, so maybe I'll wrap it somewhere if, it, if I can wrap it. But I'm going to start looking for other places because at 1%, this is a major dud. So I want to show you this screen really quick, and then I'm going to show you my spreadsheet on what I'm actually earning. So we went down the list just a second ago, and I was showing you which of my cryptocurrencies I actually have placed in crypto lending and how much in U.S. dollars it amounts to. It amounts to about $2,800. And I kept increasing my experiments if you watch my videos from back in the day. But let's actually look at how much of this is actually in a contract. So actually in orders, all I have in orders that people have actually taken my orders is about $107.63. So that amounts to only 3.77% of my money is actually working for me. And, and we deal with the ups and downs of these uh, cryptocurrencies, the growth of these cryptocurrencies. But anyone who knows in the last few months, we've seen not a lot of growth in any of these cryptocurrencies. Two of them are stable coins, so those aren't moving hardly at all. And ADA has been kind of a dud. It's grown in the last week a little bit, but 3% of my money working for me and two of them being stable coins, not much is going on here. So how much have I actually earned? This is going to steal your breath. I've actually only earned $37 on my 2800. What that looks like is I've earned $37 right here on my lending profit since September and active lendings is only $170. And to tie up my money, I could be using bots, I could be trading, I could convert. I'm probably going to convert nearly all of my Tether and nearly all of my MakerDAO. I'm going to look at my dollar cost average on MakerDAO, and I'm probably going to convert at least both my Tether and my DAO and redistribute that into my portfolio because this is actually embarrassing. In general, this is what I think. I think that there's still a major market, even in KuCoin, and I think that it just needs a little attention. What kind of attention? Instead of auto lending, what I'm actually going to do is my next experiment is going to run for the next 14 days. I'm going to set a manual contract. I'm going to try to have a competitive rate and I'm going to check it every two days because I need my money working for me. 
If I check it every two days, I'm probably going to be learning more about the rates really quickly, and I'm gonna ensure that my money's working for me for more days at a time. But what I have found is most people are simply experimenting with KuCoin lending because you see them give that back that money in just a day or two. And so I wanna make sure that my money's working for me, so I'll be checking it every two days, every other day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and maybe Saturday, and make sure that I'm getting a really competitive rate and that my money's actually actively working for me. So is this a passive income stream in cryptocurrency? No way, no how. This is an active cryptocurrency strategy. It's a lower risk cryptocurrency strategy. And I don't like risk. I don't know about you, but I don't like losing money. At minimum, I didn't lose my money holding these. Not too much. XRP, Ethereum, MakerDAO, and ADA, they've been up and down in the last few months, but I haven't lost them to a trade. I haven't lost them to ignorance. And I've learned a lot about crypto lending. So going forward, I'm going to liquidate some of these positions, and then I'm going to be checking over the next two weeks every other day to see if I can't manually get filled on better orders and creep my minimum daily interest rate. I don't know if because it's on auto lend, it gets deprioritized in the KuCoin system. Who knows? I don't know if I'm just not having competitive rates. And here's my biggest concern about this next experiment. If I do check the rate every two days, I'll probably be tempted to compete at the minimum daily rate. And now what we're looking at is a race to the bottom. MakerDAO started at 60% a year. And on other platforms like Urine Interest, like DeFi Kingdoms, like anyone with liquidity pools, there's more money to be earned out there. So in something as rudimentary and as easily to understand as crypto lending on KuCoin, where I manually set and compete on a minimum daily rate, the race to the bottom is kind of inevitable. So that's my hypothesis. Check back in two weeks. And remember, if you like videos like this, join our free Discord, get involved in the conversation. If you want my buy alerts and if you want my transparent portfolio, you want to see the opportunities me and my partners are doing in real estate, financial freedom, mental freedom, please join the patron. We'd love to have you. I'd be honored to have you. No matter what you do, remember why we do any of this. We do this to ignite lives of explosive significance, starting with your own. Have a great day.